Hi, this is Greg again from Advanced Thermal Solutions, and today we're going to check out our new uh, heat sink testing software. And our, our software, which you can see up on the screen, integrates three of our instruments. So first, we have the uh, HFC100, our heat flux controller. And what that does is uh, it maintains a, a certain amount of power into a heater or, or what have you for thermal testing. So, you know, uh, usually heaters, they change, the resistance changes a little bit as the temperature changes. And this HFC100 will maintain the, the even power output for your whole test. The second instrument that we have integrated here is the WTC100, which is our wind tunnel controller. So what that does is provide closed loop feedback to control, precisely control the velocity inside our wind tunnel here. And the third instrument that we've integrated into the software is our IQ200. And this instrument actually does triple duty itself. So first of all, uh, it measures air velocity using our ultra compact and ultra low profile candlestick sensor. Um, and this, this unit will also uh, be compatible with any of the other ATVS sensors that we sell. Uh, secondly, uh, this unit measures the temperature using thermocouples. And, uh, we can read up to 12 thermal couples at a time. Oh, and by the way, we can read up to 16 channels of our velocity sensors. And thirdly, this unit will measure differential pressure uh, at four different test points. So if you're testing a, a board, um, ATCA has pressure drop specifications, for example. You could measure the pressure drop across an entire PCB. And at the same time, you could also measure pressure drop across a heat sink or a component or what have you. So today to demonstrate our software we're going to do a, a pretty simple, pretty basic uh, heat sink characterization test. So you can see in our test section we have one of uh, ATS's patented maxi flow, maxi grip heat sinks and, uh, and we have the candlestick sensors also set up to measure the velocity in, in the wind tunnel. So in our software, in our integrated software, uh, you can ad adjust the maximum and minimum velocities that you want to test at, as well as the minimum and maximum uh, power levels that you want to test at. Um, so in, in this case, uh, we're going to test it starting at one meter per second, and then the software will automatically uh, go to two meters per second and three, four, and five, and so on. And in addition, you could uh, have separate power test points. You could test the 10 watts, 15 watts, 20 watts, or whatever increment that you want. Um, first, uh, the software will, will run the test at, at one power level, and then it will go through the diff different velocities. And then it will move on to the next power level and uh, test the velocities, um, the same velocities again. And in this way, you can uh, get uh, a lot of different test points um, all automatically, so you don't have to sit there and, and adjust the velocity and, and power for every test. Um, and down here, we can also adjust the, uh, the dwell time at each test point so that you can be sure to uh, reach the steady state um, conditions at each test point. Uh, so what you can also do with the software is uh, you can use an external power supply with this software uh, where you would just type in the power uh, that you want and then you would just uh, adjust it on your external power supply. So in our software you can enter a description of what, what you're testing. So here we're testing a 40 by 40 millimeter maxi flow heat sink. Um, and this information will be saved in, in the data. Um, the data comes out as a text file that can be input uh, directly into uh, Microsoft uh, Excel or other spreadsheet. So here you can turn on and off uh, the thermocouples. Uh, today we just have one and that's in the heat sink. And here you can turn on and off the uh, velocity sensors. So today we have five candlestick uh, sensors in our test section. And then at the bottom of the screen, uh, this is where you turn on and off the differential pressure sensors. And today we're just going to measure the differential pressure across the uh, test section, which uh, there, there's not going to be much pressure drop because there's not much uh, stuff in the test section. 
So when you have all your parameters set, then you just hit start, and the software uh, begins automatically. So on, on this screen, we can see the uh, conditions inside our wind tunnel. On the left, it has the air temperature. That's the ambient air temperature. And on the right, uh, we have the wind tunnel air velocity. Uh, so our target air velocity is shown in blue. It's down at the bottom at one meter per second. And our actual air velocity is shown in red. So we can see that that's, uh, that's decreasing right now as the system adjusts to our target velocity. If we go to this tab, uh, we can see the conditions that the IQ200 is monitoring. In the upper left, we have the heat sink temperature. This is the thermal couple that we have embedded in the heat sink base. And uh, you can see that the temperature is, is rising right now. In the upper right, we have the uh, air velocities, uh, which are being measured by our various candlestick sensors. In the lower left, uh, this is uh, our pressure sensor. Um, that's showing the differential pressure across the uh, test section. And in the lower right, we have the, our power dissipation. Um, and again, the, the blue line shows our target, and the red line shows the actual power dissipation. So we're, we're right on target with this test. So here you can see the temperature continue, continuing to rise, and, uh, and when it reaches steady state, uh, then, then it will level off, and at the end of our dwell time, then our system will record the measurements, and then it will move on to the next uh, test step. Uh, and that concludes the demonstration of our integrated heat sink testing software. And uh, we hope you got a good idea of, of the time you can save with our automated software and the use of these three great products from Advanced Thermal Solutions.